Well, as the last striker remaining, are you feeling any pressure? Uh, no. That's all inside your head. So uh, if you focus on that, you're going to have a tough time. So I kind of try to keep my mind on what I can control right. and what the team wants to accomplish and how we want to accomplish it. How might uh, the team style have to change with you as compared to Joseph? Yeah, I mean, I think the basic principles will try to keep the same, but we're obviously very different players, mm -hmm. and there's no replacing Joseph. But uh, I bring some different things, and I think I can help the team uh, some more physical battles and aerial duels, as well as just you know com combining with our playmakers. When Joseph goes down, I mean, I know in the game everything happens very quickly, but then in the day or two following, do you look at yourself in the mirror and kind of like readjust where you're at mentally coming into the season? Yeah, I mean, I don't think anyone expected that to transpire. You know, I've, I've only known him for a few short months, but from that time I gathered he was a really tough guy. And guys have told me if he's down, it, it's not – faking he's not faking it it's serious so when that happened you know I just started sprinting on the sideline um, and I to be honest thought he was gonna get back up and keep playing and you know he did and he ran down the field on a torn knee so that's just a testament to his toughness and in terms of just going into this game um, I think we all just kind of have a next man up mentality um, you saw it with Lawrence on the weekend coming in on this debut and, and seeing how to result and doing really well. So everyone in the club, we're, we're itching for chances to help the team and whoever that may be, uh, we'll, we'll all be ready, you know, no matter who it is. Adam, what has, we asked a couple of guys this week just, you know, how training has been with you kind of playing as, as that target forward, that took it forward. You mentioned the playmakers like Barco and Petit. How has the communication been this week in, in understanding each other's movements and what you guys want to do? Well, it's been really fun playing with them because, uh, man, can they pick out a pass. And um, they're so active and, and their movement is amazing. So it makes my job easier because um, they create so much and they draw so much attention. And, you know, my kind of rule of thumb is whenever I get the balls, find one of them, you know, lay it off to one of those guys because they're going to make things happen. How has playing in this system been different for you? I mean, uh, the team started – the few, first few games playing really fast. It looked like they were kind of catching you know, that, that, that brand of soccer that's very you know, known for you know, here in Atlanta. Has that been an adjustment to you to play quicker, to think quicker? Is it something that comes naturally for, for that type of any player that kind of steps in? Um, well, I think, I mean, Atlanta, when you think about home games, like as an opposing player, you're, you're scared, you know, to come play because it's just the atmosphere, the energy, and then the, the speed of play. Um, you know, I've, it's it's quite an adjustment from my last year in Phoenix, just in terms of um, different leagues, different teams. But I've also I've, I've played in MLS before, and I'm, I I kind of rely on that experience to help me out. And you know, I'm not the fastest guy in the room in, on the field, but uh, you know, the good thing about soccer is there's no one one uh, criteria or mold for a player to have success. And so you just you kind of look at your strengths and, and try to maximize uh, the, the effectiveness of what you can bring. And then finally, just for me, wingers are really important to the system as well, getting service into the box. That's been, you know, Joseph's bread and butter is, is finding those moments and getting on the service. You're, like you mentioned, it's a, a, better, a bigger striker, you're gonna fight for area duels. How has the understanding been this week with the wingers? Oh, it's been great. Uh, Jake and Brooks are amazing, and they're going to be they're going to be such threats going forward. And uh, we've been chatting about kind of how we're going to link up and score some goals. So I'm really excited. I think someone on Twitter said last week, you know, back to that goal celebration against Columbus. They didn't like that, but then you said, "I've got something else planned. Should I score?" Something along those lines. Uh huh. Can you share anything about that? I'll, I'll keep it cryptic, but. Uh, <laughs> I have my away goal celebration planned. Okay. So you can maybe insinuate and infer from that, but uh, I'm thinking about for home games. So okay. I guess stay tuned.
And are you still going to – Joseph was the guy who came back on corner kicks and was kind of right at the yeah. uh, the eight-yard box there as the header. Is that going to be your role on corner kicks too? Uh, I would assume so. We haven't okay. ironed it out yet in training. Okay. Uh, pardon my ignorance. Did you play with Drogba at, uh, at Phoenix? He wasn't, no. He wasn't on the I was his replacement. Training. Okay. How, how do you think you did that? <laughs> so you're used to replacing people. <laughs> <laughs> exactly. <laughs> Uh, there's no replacing Drogba, and then there's no replacing <laughs> Joseph. I'll, I'll say that. Uh, no, he he played, and then he was part owner, but you know he's so busy with his foundation and okay. over in Europe. So I actually haven't I haven't met him, but I've, I've heard great uh, great things about him, and he was he would, he would always make you feel important, from what guys told me uh, on the team, and he he actually had a stint in Sacramento where he trained like four or five years ago, mm-hmm. and you know he was. He was cleaning up after. He was chatting with anyone, you know, and that doesn't matter who you were. So, I mean, that really uh, speaks for itself. I know that, uh, you know, like the weather and the cold has been kind of crappy lately. But other than that, you know, out on the training pitch this week, how has the atmosphere and the team been with, you know, without Joseph? I think it's been as upbeat as it could be. Um, that's always in the back of our minds. And, um, but, I mean, that, when you lose anyone, um, it's very sad, but the team has to find a way to perform week in and week out. So it's really a testament to the guys' professionalism. And um, I think the wet, the cool uh, wet weather has been really fun because uh, a, a fast pitch really suits us. So there's been some really good combination and uh, creative play going on. You, you've been in the league for a while uh, and really haven't got a chance to make consecutive consistent starts. This may be that first opportunity for you. Is it any more important than your first chance when you were drafted? Oh, uh, let me think. You know, it's, can you rephrase the question, I guess? I'm trying to figure out, now that you're an older player and the opportunities aren't gonna be probably as frequent as when you were a younger player, if it is any more important now that you're actually gonna get a chance to make some consistent starts, something that hasn't happened right, yeah. yet. I'd say so. You know, uh, uh, when you're younger, you have a lot of hype and potential behind you. And as an older player, maybe the opportunities won't come as often. Um, I plan on taking the, take, making the most of my opportunity and making the coaches have some hard decisions going forward. OK. Yeah. follow up to, to what okay. to Doug asked you. I mean, you, like you said, you're, you've been in this league a long time. What is it like to be that player, though, that's like, you know, you're, step, you're, you're gonna spell a big time player like Joseph Martinez. Now he's out, now he's out, now you're kind of like the man. But the club is, is the type of club that's always looking for the best players or they're shopping for another striker. What is that like, just yeah. the mentality good, of, of staying focused? Good question. Uh, I, I have no doubt the club's gonna sign a really awesome forward and I've been thinking about it a lot um, that's not in my control so back to what I said earlier you know in terms of like having pressure put on me or, or thinking about that if I think about that you know it's gonna be a nightmare so just gotta go back to what I can control and and that's my effort and um, playing with confidence and you know doing whatever I need to do to get a win this weekend yeah. did you score more goals at Drunkwood? Yeah, I think so. There you go. I think so. Yeah. <laughs> All right. I'll take it. So you just got to score 28. <laughs> yeah, I mean, that's a step up now. I mean, Joseph's he's up there, man. So. All right. Thanks, guys. Thanks, Thanks, I appreciate, appreciate you guys waiting. Thanks. Sorry, oh, yeah, no we problem. had some meetings and stuff. Hey, thank you. Thanks.